We're going to say this is your stock fuel economy. We're going to add a little teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny bit of water fuel. The, the economy will go up a little bit. And as we add more and more of the water gas, the economy goes up. Because what we're doing is we are improving the combustion efficiency. Remember we talked about the uh, OH radicals. and So what we're doing is we're throwing in something that is not a fuel. The water gas is not being used by the engine as fuel any more than the covalizer is being used as fuel. It is a combustion efficiency enhancer. So after adding so much of the water fuel, eventually we start getting less and less gain. We add more and more water fuel and we get less and less gain and eventually the fuel economy will go back down because the load on the alternator takes horsepower and that horsepower drain will start to outweigh the gains that we're getting from the water fuel. So I was talking to somebody before lunch break and well what happens if you put 10 of these things on and you crank up the output of the alternator? You'll probably get pretty low fuel economy compared to just adding enough to stabilize the combustion process. Does everyone grasp that concept? So the fact that we have the new fuel cell that has two sides to it. You hook up one side, go through the tuning process on something like the Escort, you know, you get really good gains. You hook up the second side and chances are you may get better gains or you may actually start losing fuel economy again. <clears throat> Furthermore, if you take an engine and design it to run on hydrogen, you're running like a 16 or an 18 to 1 compression ratio, basically a wide open air intake. You don't even need a throttle plate. Your ignition timing fires after top dead center. The whole parameters of the engine changes. The fact that the engines that we run now are designed for a wet fuel situation. The ports, you know, back in the old days when they had carburetors, the intake manifolds were wet flow manifolds. Then we went to fuel injection and the look of the intake manifold radically and dramatically changed because it was a dry flow. All I had to do was deliver air to the cylinder head. And now that we're starting to see direct injection engines, BMW, where they actually had the injector right next to the spark plug. It's kind of like a diesel. They draw nothing but air in, and then they shoot the fuel in after the fact. Well, even the, the ports and the heads are starting to look different on their uh, prototype R&D engines. So we start adding entirely too much hydrogen on a wet flow gasoline engine We've gone beyond combustion efficiency. We start taking the, the water fuel and turning it into a fuel, and the engine is not designed to run on that, and we will start to lose efficiency. Keep that in mind when the kits start having the two sides. So if it were me, I would hook it up with uh, one side, do a mileage run, then hook it up with the other side and do a mileage run. Now, if it's a V8 truck or something, you're going to pick up even better fuel economy by running that second side. If it's something like the Escort, you may see absolutely no difference whatsoever. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. Any questions?